Hey everyone, it's been a pretty bad week again in Central America, hasn't it? More tropical storms, Mexico suffering a major earthquake, and just the other day I turned onto the 10 o'clock news and for a while it looked as though there were dinosaurs on the loose in Costa Rica. Then I realised the clocks don't actually go back until next weekend and it was just the last half an hour of Jurassic Park. The film holds up pretty well actually, uh, although if I wanted to see an older bearded man introducing dinosaurs I'd rather turn on to BBC Parliament and watch the Labour Party conference. Also in the next few days, we've got Theresa May travelling for Brexit talks in Italy and shortly afterwards it's the German election. Everyone's predicting Angela Merkel's going to romp home pretty easily, but they said that about Theresa May, didn't they? And political opinion polls these days seem about as reliable as a promise from Boris Johnson not to be caught up to something. Never want to shy away from naked political ambition in the past. The Foreign Secretary spent the last week or so secretly plotting a takeover of Number 10 with the sort of quiet scheming subtlety normally more associated with a vagrant outside a wine shop attempting to allegedly purchase a bus ticket. At least when Vince Cable claims that he and his dozen MPs have a good chance of assembling the next government, you can see it for the piece of subversive performance art that it is. Even when Ed Miliband claimed he'd be the next PM, his expectations were equally matched by his desire just to wind up his brother. It's hard to tell, really. There's a very thin line between delusions of grandeur and politicians taking the piss. Boris may well fancy himself as a modern-day Churchill figure, and he may very well end up as Prime Minister, but for those who've read their history or who were lucky to be alive at the time, the 1950s were a pretty grim time for Britain, and Churchill's post-war record isn't terribly great in any sense of the word. Although for now, admittedly, Theresa May styling herself as a female Anthony Eden ain't too great either, is it? Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe. Bye.